Each way to Ascot. Each way to places. Take 11 of all. Each way up corner of the earth. Bookmakers at Ascot are used to taking gambles. For once, they're not just betting on horses. Some are taking a punt on the way they do business. Instead of pricing up horses using fractions, they're trying decimal odds. It's hoped it will attract new fans to the sport. It's no easier or more difficult for us as businessmen to operate. A decimal, fractional, it's, it's merely a different approach, it's different software. It's not technically more difficult. The key is, will our customers appreciate the change? Under the new system, bets switch from fractions to decimals. A traditional two to one odds will now be written as just the number two. So odds of seven to two will now be written as 3.5. Advocates say that makes it clearer that you would win three pounds 50 for every pound you bet. We need to modernize the sport. It has become a little old fashioned and we need to make it attractive to younger adults, many of whom bet in decimals anyway, they bet on the betting exchanges. Thank you, best of luck. Thank you. For novice bettors like myself, the change may make it easier to do the maths, but critics say it will be expensive to change and not worth it. Some also fear it will put off the more traditional and frequent racegoers, which in turn could affect betting sales. I think it's unnecessary. Lots of things aren't decimal. Racing is in furlongs. A horse is measured in hands. A cricket pitch is 22 yards. Why do we need to go decimal? Decimals is a new way of doing things. The old way is what we're all established. We did it, top of their nine to four, up the arm, 11 to eight. That's what people are used to. Is that the way? I think you've got to look ahead, say, 50 years. Will there, there still be 15 to eight and seven to four? I doubt it. Racing has a long heritage in the UK with royal connections. It's the only country, along with Ireland, that still uses fractions to measure the odds. Experts say it will be a while before any major change in the UK gets past the post. Louise Beale, Bloomberg News.